Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo Academy, the show where we teach you how to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So if you want to get that, make sure you stay until the end. Also, if you do not own Luminar Neo, make sure you use the link in the description together with the discount code so you can get the best deal on your new purchase. And finally, we would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's special edition of our video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the new update for Luminar Neo number 1.0.7. Today's video is going to have three parts. In the first part, we're going to go through the list of the updates. In the second part, I'm going to show you how to download and install the update. And in the final part, we're going to jump into the application where I'm going to show you where to locate the new updates and how to use them. So we are here at the Skylum website, the home of Luminar Neo, and we are in the section called What's New. This is where you can always find the latest information about all the updates. So we're looking at the update called 1.0.7 and even further called Pick Your Favorite Tools. Now, usually they release updates for both versions of the software. And in this update, there is no difference between them. So let's have a look at it. In the new Luminar Neo 1.0.7 update, it's easy to select your favorite tools and have them at your fingertips whenever you need. Simply right click on a tool you like and add it to your favorites. You always see your favorites at the top of the list for every photo you edit. Additionally, masking technology is now available on added layers, so don't hesitate to get creative. Plus, Luminar Neo now speak Polish, Swedish, Norwegian and Danish. To top it off, uh, Skyloom also cooked 12 bugs that could lead to unexpected results. Now looking at the bug fixes, you can now use histogram in photo extension. You can paste the mask and see the masking action button working. You can also copy an AI detected mask and smoothly use it with the erase tool on Mac. OS Catalina, you can now click on masking tab without experiencing crashes and you can apply brushes in the masking tab without errors. Finally, you can also press the control plus left click shortcut and open menu smoothly. Looking at some of the bug fixes for Windows, you can now press the mask AI button in a black and white tool without immediately converting the image to black and white. You can use undo and redo as well as shortcuts without disabling the presets and edit tabs. You can also export an image from a plugin after having applied the erase tool or edit it in layers without experiencing crashes. When editing a new layer to a photo with an open tool in the toolbar, the transform layers frame doesn't disappear. You can now also enter the slider amount with the keyboard without the tool appearing twice in the edits tab. So those are the updates with this version of Luminar Neo. And now we're going to jump into the application and I'm going to show you how to download the update and how to install it. Now, before we're going to jump into the application, I want to tell you about our new product. It's called Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For $39, you get over 850 new elements to power up your favorite Luminar Neo tools. You get extra high definition and professional skies, overlays, textures, sky objects, LUTs and presets. With all of these tools, you can transfer your images with just a few clicks. Now, for this price, you will get over 53 collections and once again, over 854 tools. So make sure that you visit our website, cleverphotographer.com to find out more about them. Or you can also follow the link in the description. And now it's time to show you how we're going to install this update of Luminar Neo. So as you can see, we are inside of the application. We are in the catalog module. And most likely when you're going to open the application, you will be prompt with the update message. If that didn't happen, what you need to do is to go up to your toolbar and click on Luminar Neo. Inside of that, there is the check for updates button. So you click on that. 
and it takes a second and then it prompts you with this message. The software update, a new version of Luminar Neo is available and then Luminar Neo 1.0.7 is now available. You have 1.0.6. Would you like to download it now? So of course we would. So what we need to do is to click on install update. So now it's going to take a moment. As you can see, it's over four gigabytes big. So we let it run down and then we'll come back to it. After the download is finished, it's going to extract it and prepare it for this window ready to install. So now it's really simple. You just click on install and relaunch. Once the installation is over, it reopens the application and you will be ready to use it. Just to double check that you have the latest version, let's go back to our toolbar, click on Luminar Neo and then on About Luminar Neo. So now you should see the Luminar Neo version 1.0.7. So this is how you download and install this latest version of Luminar Neo. And to finish the tutorial, I'm going to show you where to locate and how to use all of these new updates. So in general, there are three updates. Let's start with the first one. Now the Luminar Neo speaks Polish, Swedish, Norwegian and Danish. But how do you change the language? Well, what you need to do is to go back to the toolbar, click on Luminar Neo and there is a tab called Languages. So inside of the languages, you can now choose the language you're looking for and change it. So as you can see, there is a full list of languages, everything from English, German, Spanish, French, Italian and so on. So this is where you change the language of Luminar Neo. The second update was covering your favorite tools. So for this, we need to select any image. So we're going to use this one and go into our edit module. Inside of the edit module on our right side, we have all our tools and by right clicking on any of the tools. So for example, on the develop, we have this new option called add to favorites. So when we click on that, you can see that we get the whole new section on the top of the list called favorites. And now we can add all of our favorite tools into this list so we can quickly access them. To remove them, you need to right click on the tool again and click on remove from favorites. So for example, I really like to use the enhance AI so I can add it there. I also like to use the landscape tool so I can add it there. From the creative tools, I like to use the dramatic tool. I like to use the mood tool and I also like to use the mystical tool. And finally, from my professional tools, I like to use the super contrast and also the color harmony. So now when I'm editing any of the images, I'm going to have all my favorite tools on the top of the list. And finally, the update number three, where you can additionally use the masking technology with the added layers. So while we here, we have this image, we can go into our layers panel on the left side of the screen and click on the plus sign. Here we can go into my images and use one of the textures. So we're going to use one of the fine art textures from our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. We click on that and that texture gets applied to our image. Now we turn our attention to the right, to the main panel, where are the layers properties? We will increase the opacity to 100% and change the blend mode to something like overlay. Now what we want to do is we want to keep the texture everywhere except on the face. And for this, now we have the masking available. So it's a new tab next to the properties. And this is where we can use all the different masking options. We can use the brush, linear gradient, radial gradient and mask AI. So for this case, let's use the radial gradient. So we will click on that and now we will just with the mouse place the radial gradient on the face. Now hovering over the center of the gradient, we can adjust its position and using these dots, we can adjust the shape of the gradient. So let's do that. Let's make it a little smaller just around the face itself. And once I'm happy with it, I can return to the properties. So now, as you can see, the texture is applied everywhere except the face. So there you have it. Those were the three major updates from the update with the number 1.0.7. Don't forget that there were also 12 bugs that they were fixed. And don't forget some of the bugs in the list, which you can review by going into the Skylum website and looking for the what's new section. 
And now it's time to get your gift. If you want to get access to our Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, all you need to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift. And there you can download the cheat sheet and start to use it right away. And there you have it. So I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share our video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.